Is it chugga chugga choo choo? Or is it chugga 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 choo choo? So many unanswered questions in life. Every day is a train show, and we got a bunch of new items here that we hopefully will find in your layout real, real soon. We're going to start off with a really neat item here that we just got in from Intermountain. These are the N-Scale die-cast metal wheels, and these are great if you want to add some metal wheels to your N-Scale concepts. We got this 12-pack here. Definitely something to check out here. We're selling it for $11.20. So if you want to turn your HO's, uh, pl or I'm sorry, end scale rather, plastic uh, wheels to metal wheels, this is a great way to go. So check those out. And I know probably our HO fans are thinking, we don't show enough diesel locomotives. At least that's what you keep saying, right, Rich? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So anyway, so we got a brand new one that we're going to take a look at. And this may be a little big. Check this one out. We got this diesel locomotive here from Athern. This is the DD840X, and look at that monster there. There is a lot of great detail, and I got to point out about this engine here. For example, as you can see, I got a pulsating strobe light up top there. I got the classification lights here. I really like the windshield wipers, separately applied detailing there. That looks awesome. I love the different types of visors that are on there and then take a look just the design of this engine is just massive it is a really cool engine obviously you're going to need some wider radius curves to make this thing work but this is just great looking and if you're looking for an engine that you probably don't have and something that looks a little bit different than the rest of your fleet i think this is the way to go so we're going to take a look at this engine in action and see what it sounds like all aboard so let's turn that sound system on shall we Sounds powerful. Here is the bell. Here is the horn. Cool. Let's pull it out, shall we? Let's gun it. That is a really cool looking engine and it's powerful sounding too. It sounds great. It looks great. I think you need this on your layout. Now, of course, because it is a really big engine, it does have somewhat of a hefty price tag. It retails for $589.98. We're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $501.48. Might seem like a lot, but you're getting a lot with this engine here. This is a lot of really neat features that go along with this engine. As I said, this is like two GP38s put together. I mean, just look at this thing. This is a massive engine. And if you have one of these locomotives on your rails, you're really going to like what you have here. I guarantee it. This is this tremendous look looking. The Union Pacific paint scheme looks great. I mean, there's not much more I can say. I think you need one of these on your layout. So come to Yankee Dale and get these while you still can because these are not going to stay long. So again, get this engine. You're going to love it. So if a engine blows its horn in the middle of the forest and no one's around to hear it, did it really make a sound? I don't know. Anyway, if you guys are looking for some new rolling stack items to put on your railroad, look no further than these Walters Mainline's 100 ton hoppers. And I think you're really going to like these things here. I got a couple of different road names here. I got the Rio Grande, 
I have the Conrail, more specifically the Conrail quality. I love that little logo that's right there. And of course, everyone's favorite black and white, Norfolk Southern. And these are really great looking cars here. And the neat thing about them is even though I don't have a ton of different road names, I have a ton of different road numbers. So if you're looking for a whole bunch of these cars to make a nice long unit train, I think this is a really great way to go. These cars just glide on the rails. Take a look at right here. These cars just move so effortlessly, effortlessly. Wow, speaking is hard. But these are just tremendously looking cars. And especially for the price, you're probably wondering, how much are these things going to cost? Well, I'll tell you. So for the price, these cars retail for $28.98. We're selling them here for $23.99. That's a great deal to get on these cars. And as you can see, come over here. Look, these are all my different numbers that I have here of all those cars that we have there. And of course, we have more upstairs. So get these cars on your layout. If you want a nice long hopper train, get those 100 ton hoppers going. I know you're really going to like them. This is another philosophical question. What do you think came first, the whistle or the bell? Hmm. Anyway, well, I know you're not really interested in seeing any more diesels. No more. All right, I guess we're showing more. All right, we're going to take a look at these F and FP45 diesel locomotives. Once again from Atherin, and these are really neat looking engines. These are a little bit different than some of the things you've seen before. But I got this really nice Wisconsin Central. That's the F45. I have the Milwaukee Road, and this is classified as the FP45, a little bit different design there. And then I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe in a fantasy scheme. Now, the VNSF never really had any of these engines painted up this way, but that's a neat looking engine nonetheless. I like those pumpkin colors, especially with the green. I prefer the green more to the black myself. Now these engines have a bunch of several different variations. For example, if you take a look over here at the uh, Milwaukee Road engine here, you can see I have a pulsating light in the front there. That's the only one that has that one. Whereas say the Wisconsin Central does not, it has a little bit of a different look. Of course, that one's a little bit different design. And of course the BNSF actually has some added hardware up here. I mean, there's just a lot of really neat things that go on to these engines here. And again, if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, we're going to go for different today. I think these engines are the way to go here, and I think you're really going to like them. Now, once again, I know you're thinking, DJ, what do these things cost? Well, I'll tell you. So the FP45, or the F45s, they sell for $309.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $263.48. That's a neat deal to get on these engines. And of course, just like we'd like to do, we're going to check them out. So all aboard. All right, let's start her up. Here is the horn. Classic. Well. And away we go. That sounds really cool. So that's a really neat engine. I think you're really going to like them. Now, the neat thing about these engines is, of course, they're the sister engines of those F40, 
PHs that we've seen from Amtrak. So these are kind of a little bit of a sister variation from those engines. So if you want a freight engine to go along with maybe a F40 PH, I think these are the engines to go with. Now they retail, as I said, once again for $309.98. We're selling them for $263.48. It's a great deal to get on a great manufacturer, a great piece that has a lot of detail. I don't know what you're waiting for. Get these in your cart and get them on your layout today. Here's another thing I think about. If the world is round, then why do we make our train layouts flat? Hmm. Things don't make sense to me. Anywho, I know you really like those 100 ton four bay hoppers. Well, now we're going to take a look at some 70 ton covered hoppers from Bowser. And I like these cars here. Uh, first of all, I have here the Central Silica Co. I have the US Phosphoric Products. I got the Lind. I got the Dewey Portland and Cement Company. And I got the Reading. This isn't a library. I'm sorry, the Reading. And I really like that look there. As we all know, I'm a fan of the Reading. Now, if we take a look at these cars here in detail, you're going to see, especially, let's take a look at this Lind car here, for example, because you can see all the different writing that goes on here, all the separately applied signage. I mean, there's just a lot going on here for these cars, and they are really relatively inexpensive when you think about it. These Bowser cars retail for $28.95, but we're selling them here for $22.99. Look at all the detail that goes into these cars, and it's a great deal. And once again, I have a bunch of different row numbers. Uh, so if I want to make a nice long unit train of some 70 ton uh, covered hopper cars, I think this is a great way to go. Or you can mix them up, get those 100 ton um, four bay hoppers and get the 70 tons, make a nice long uh, unit train of hoppers. Really affordable and I really like these cars. Just like the Walther's ones, these have die cast metal wheels and they have really nice looking couplers too. I like the spring in there, die cast metal spring. I mean, these are just great looking cars here. I don't know what you're waiting for. As a matter of fact, as we were setting these up to put on the show, two guys came and bought like three out of my box. So, I mean, these cars are got to go fast. So if you're really interested in getting these cars, go to yankeedabbler.com, get them on your cart, and get them rolling on your layout before you miss out. Here's another thing that keeps me up at night. Is Norfolk Southern a black car with white writing? Or was it a white car and then they painted over everything with mostly black but kept some things white? Hmm. Uh, things to keep me up at night. Well, I know you're probably sick and tired of looking at diesels, so we're going to take a look at some boxcars. No, more diesels. How about cabooses? No, diesels. Ice cream? Yeah, later, but diesels first. Fine. All right, well, we're going to take a look at some more diesels, and we have here our, my favorite type of diesel, the GP9. Check out these guys here once again from Athern. Got a little theme going here today with my Athern show here at Diesel Power. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of different gp9 variations to take a look at here i have here the cp rail i have here the toronto hamilton and buffalo i have here a really neat looking engine the boston and maine and i love those pulsating strobe lights up top those are great looking and then for something a little different this is actually a phase three variation this is the union pacific with a phase one b unit as well so i got dual power there and i got two different looks here now, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of really neat things going on with these cars, uh, engines rather. For example, these engines were actually winterized because you can see I had the protection over the exhaust vents here. This engine most likely was converted into a switcher diesel because you can see with the strip light, uh, the strip lights there, as well as the dynamic braking has been removed there. So that's a kind of a neat story behind that one. And then this one is actually considered to be a passenger engine. You can tell because it has what they call the torpedo tubes up here and it has a larger fuel tank at the bottom. And the CP rail engine actually used to run some passenger trains as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of really neat stories that go behind these engines here. And these engines were made in the early 50s. I want to say they stopped production in 1959. However, you can still see some of these engines running railroads today. So if you want an engine that you can see, and I know a lot of tourist railroads still use the GP9. So, I mean, this is just a great looking engine. Multiple different uses, and they sound great. What do they sound like? Well, just like we like to do, we're going to find out. So, all aboard.
So we're going to run the Union Pacific here, the A and the B. And the neat thing about this consist that we have right here is that the B units were actually Union Pacific's first attempt to try to get diesel locomotives with more horsepower. So after this consist that they created here, they started coming out with engines that had a higher horsepower. So obviously you can only use one unit as opposed to two. So it's a little history for you, those people that want to model that era. Uh, model that era. So let's hear what they sound like. Board. The bell. And here we go. You know what would be really neat is if I can find a whole bunch of hoppers to pull with this. Wait a minute, I know a place. Now arriving on track number one, train number 341. The that is a cool looking concept, and of course you could build that all with uh, all the stuff we saw here at Yankee Tabler. Now you might be wondering, is the B unit, does the B unit have a sound system? I mean, yes it does. It also has a horn and a bell. Now of course that engine wouldn't have a real horn on the bell because it's a, supplement, uh, a supplemental engine. But you can always fix that on your CVs and you can get that sounded just the way you want it to. Now, you might be wondering how much these things are cost. Well, they retail for $299.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $254.98. Once again, another great deal on these uh, locomotives. I really like them. I think that's a great looking train. So once again, come get it before it's not here anymore. Well, I hope you enjoyed our program here today. We had a lot of variety. We looked at diesels and then we looked at hoppers. Then we looked at diesels and then hoppers again that would look at the diesel pulling hoppers what a variety anyway i hope you enjoyed everything you saw here and of course everything that you saw can be found on our website yankeedabbler.com that's a 24 hours a day website so you can order three in the morning if you want doesn't matter we're going to get that and ship it to your door but of course if you want to come to our brick and mortar store Located in Belmar, New Jersey, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, I don't know what you're doing. Everybody's doing it. Click that subscribe button. Get caught up in all the videos of me talking about trains like diesels and, and hoppers. And then... More then, diesels. Well, yeah. Um, Maybe a steam. Yeah. Ooh, steam. Okay. Anyway, so we'll get caught up in all those. All the new things that are going on on Engineer Hall's layout. As a matter of fact, he has that cool... Uh, uh, what is it called? The shunting yard? Or what is that called? Engineer Hall? Uh, a little hump yard. A hump little. yard. Okay. Well, this is a PG rated show. Come mm -hmm. on. Keep, keep it to yourself, please. All right. Anyway. Uh, but one of the neat things that we have coming up here really soon is going to be our spring layout spectacular. Woo! I know, right? Yeah. People are going crazy for it. And not just the people that work here. Wait, do you work here? Do I work here?
I think so. Oh, all right, then never mind. Anywho, but if you're interested in participating in our uh, Spring Layout Spectacular, all you need to do is submit your videos or your photographs at engineerhallchannel at gmail.com. And just like we did with the fall layout extravaganza, we're going to take a look at your layout. Give me a little write-up about what it looks like and what we're seeing here, and then we'll put it on the show and hopefully see some of these new layouts in action or some of the old ones or some additions or whatever you want to do. I'm looking forward to seeing them. All right, so thank you very much for tuning in to our show, and we're going to conclude this week's video with a rail fan video. We're going to go to Hamilton, New Jersey to take a look at the New Jersey Transit multi-level trailer cars. We took a look at them in the last show or some of the previous shows, so now you get to see them in action. So all aboard. Now, if you excuse me, I have to continue contemplating some more of these life decisions or these, these questions that come up in the railroading industry. For example, how much coal could a choo-choo chug if a choo-choo could chug coal? Yeah. You know? hmm. Like, does a tunnel have one hole or two? Hmm. Why do bad things happen to good railroads? Hmm. Uh, it's so many things I got to think about. Take care, everybody. I mean, is it chug a chug a choo choo? That would make sense.